All right. So uh, up next, we have Kevin Carlson, a print production specialist with the Campus Design and Print Solutions. And he will provide information about making sure that your image meets the technical requirements. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Kevin, uh, currently in the basement of Cameron Library uh, in our print production facilities. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, IOR technical requirements. I've been working with uh, IOR now for this is my fourth year, and it's always really exciting to see some of the fantastic work that comes from the students. Um, you know, I always get the first peek. Uh, uh, for everything. So it's really lovely to see all of the uh, great design that comes out. That's right, guys. So um, only high resolution digital images that are photo and and print quality will be accepted. And that can include photographs, images, visualizations, and drawings. So sometimes we have people who do photographs. Sometimes we have people who work in programs like Photoshop and Illustrator. Sometimes we do people who do you know, hand drawings and photograph that. There's all kinds of options for you to be able to, uh, to do your artwork. But what we want to do is to make sure that it's a good enough quality to be able to print. So those images should be in JPEG and be, be sure to use uh, the maximum setting when you're saving that, uh, let's say from a program like Photoshop um, or saving as a TIFF file format in 300 DPI, which is dots per inch. So the size of the image on the short edge should be a minimum of 24 inches. And we kind of make that consistent between all of the pieces that we're doing um, so that they all kind of have the same height or the same width to them. And uh, it's not a really good idea to resample your images in Photoshop to increase the size or DPI. And any entries that, are, that don't meet the specifications uh, will not be accepted. And I'll kind of go into um, what we talk about when we're resampling and blowing up an image when perhaps we shouldn't be. So many fo photos taken on handheld devices may look fine on the screen, which is 72 PPI or 72 dots per inch, but they may not be suitable for print because they do, do not have a high enough resolution to create a, a proper print. Uh, newer cameras are getting better in terms of resolution, however. And if you're using a phone camera shot, make sure that you send the uh, largest image size possible. And you always have that option when you're forwarding an image to somebody, make sure you have the, the largest size when you're sending it somewhere else. And when taking those photographs, we use a term, the term uh, pixels per inch. And in print, we use the term dots per inch or DPI. So what a pixel is, is a single picture element and, and for our purposes, it's the smallest element that your photo can be divided into. So when we look at that top picture, we've zoomed into that image at 3200 in, a, in Photoshop. And a picture can uh, be only one color. And a photograph is made up of a grid of thousands of those pixels, each of varying colors, and together they make your image up. And you can see on the bottom image, we've zoomed out at a thousand percent. Now, if you can see those, you can see those pixels if you open a photo inside a photo editing program and zoom in until you see a single blocks of color, each of which is a pixel. As we zoom out from our subject, the in image becomes clearer and more readable. So at 600%, we were seeing the eye of that bird and at 100%, we're seeing what the image will look like at 100% when it's printed out. Now, what I always do when I look at image, any image from 100% in a program like Photoshop, but there's also other ways that you can do that with uh, programs at home. Um, so, that will give you a good idea of whether that might be a print quality picture. 
And again, best way is to check it at 100% and uh, see if there might be any, any areas that you might need to touch up or fix. There's our final image of the bird in the grass, which is lovely. That was uh, one of the images that was picked, I believe, last year. So dots per inch is a technical term in the print industry, and most of the printing is done at a minimum of 300 dpi. If we go below that accepted range, then the result can be a blurry or a blocky or a pixelated photo. Uh, we can print down to a size of 150 dpi in some cases and still get an acceptable acceptable image. And the reason is with our large format printers, it's not the same as a regular printing process. We, our large format machines will actually, actually print in eight different colors. So there's light magenta, red, and other colors that will fill in the gaps that are missing, that would be missing from a regular print process, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Uh, we use the PPI, PPI of an image to give us an idea if we can get an acceptable print from a supplied image. So what's the process? How can we check for what is acceptable to print? Well, the first thing we have to look at is the actual size of the image. And you can see off to the side here, um, there's images that have different sizes. So if it's a lower size, we can see that something is probably not gonna work if it's like under a, a gigabyte um, because we're gonna be blowing that image up to, to make it fit within that 24 inch size. So anything that's extremely small, we will uh, open in Photoshop and double check the resolution. But in most cases, we know right away that these would not make an acceptable print. Um, this other list is made up of files that are made from a final list and were passed by the judges. If you notice, uh, the basic file size is much larger. We're going up to 45, in some cases, seven gigabyte files. And those, in most cases, would be very acceptable print images. That's why it's important that when you send an image that it has either been saved at its maximum resolution uh, to retain that image data and quality. Any item that is borderline and has a portion of it, uh, any, any item that is borderline then has a portion of it printed at 100% to see if it is acceptable. What I'll do is any, anything that I kind of is in a gray area, I will take a portion of that image and I will print it on our large format printers just to see what the final quality is. Um, this particular image um, actually was 35 megabytes and that seemed pretty big and it seemed to be the right resolution, but when I printed it at 100% and inspected it at 100%, I, could, I saw that it was enlarged by another program. And so what, what, you, what happens when we take a look at that, it may look fine in, in the top as an image, but actually at 100%, you can see how if that was printed, <clears throat> it's actually quite blurry and quite pixelated. So unfortunately, that wasn't a, an acceptable image. This, this next piece that I had, I would usually be able to show you in class. It's actually a 24 inch high piece, but you can see each of these images that I brought into it, um, I brought in at 100%. So if it was to fill that large space, we can see that some of these images are much smaller than that. And they actually, when we go to blow them up to that 24 inch minimum height, um, they actually wouldn't work. Um, I think my favorite is the one on the, um, on the left hand side there, which is absolutely tiny. So if we were to blow that up, it would get very, very chunky and, and unprintable. As we go back, I'll just go back. You can see the smaller version of this image that was brought in at 100%. I thought perhaps I would blow that up to 100% to see what it would look like. And I printed that. It was would be something that I'd physically show you to see some of the, the defects that you end up getting with it. But uh, as we go into it, 
um, it looks okay on screen, but when I opened it up in Photoshop to check the resolution, here's what I found. And this will make more sense to you. The physical size of that image, if I were to print it, is 13 by 10. Remember, we're always looking to get it to that 24 inch minimum height. And the resolution's at 72, DP, uh, 72 DPI or PPI. So let's say we go for that minimum of 150 um, to get a good printing image. If you look down in the right hand corner, that 13 by 10 at 72 pixels per inch. Um, let's go to the next slide and we'll, I'll show you what happens when we blow that up. So I'm looking for that minimum of 24 inches for a height and my width is gonna be 32, but look at that resolution, 30 pixels per inch, which is well below that minimum of, a, of, of 150. So blowing that image up, would it look good? Um, no, it would actually look quite pixelated. So that's why we can't just enlarge a picture to the size we need in either Photoshop or another program. Every time we enlarge a picture by 100%, we're cutting the resolution in half. So we look at our original 13 by 10 at 72. Uh, we want to get, and if we go 200%, we're going to 26 by 20. But look, our resolution is half of what it was. So how can I tell if my image is printable? Well, there's a couple of ways, even if you don't have access to Photoshop. Um, Remember, for images of research, we're looking for submissions that must be a minimum of 24 inches in height or width. So if the shortest edge of your photo, you can look at the pixels, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that easily in, in Windows. Uh, let's say it's 3,600 pixels for that short edge um, divided by 150 is equal to 24 inches. 3,600 pi pixels on the short edge at 300 DPI would be 12 inches. You can check your file size easily by right clicking on your image and checking under the properties tab under the details tab in, in uh, Windows. So just right click and you can try this on your image at home. You'll see that what it'll bring up a window and if we go to the details section, it's going to tell you how many pixels that is. And it's also going to tell you what your resolution is at. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, that's kind of an easy way of being able to check it when you're, uh, when you're working at some, with something at home. There's also online an online image uh, size calculator that you can go to. It's called uh, www.pixelcalculator.com. And this will allow you to convert between pixels uh, to print size and print size to pixels. Kevin, just a two minute warning. Actually, I'm finished. So what I, what I just wanna end off with is if you guys are not sure about your image resolution, please just send the image to me and I will check it for you. Um, it would be uh, if, if just in case you you have any questions about that, um, that's what I'm here for. So uh, we've had lots of students send uh, images in the past and they'll send them in and I will say, no, that one's not gonna work. Do you have something that's larger? And they will send me a second image and I will check it for them and say, yeah, that works. So thanks everybody. And uh, we'll be, get on to our next uh, special speaking guest.